To take a TPR or temperature pulse and respirations on a resident, I just need the thermometer to do the temperature. So I'm going to knock on the resident's door. I'm going to wash my hands. Hi, Annie, I'm here to take your vitals. Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to provide for privacy here. All right, we're going to start with your temperature. This is just going to glide right along your skin. Okay, 98.8 Fahrenheit. And now I'm going to take your pulse. So as we mentioned before in the video on respirations, we don't tell the residents when we're watching respirations because that might change the pattern. So I will again find a clock that has a sweep or an analog second hand, or I can use my watch if it's not a digital second hand. And I'm going to take her pulse for 30 seconds if it's regular. If it's irregular, I would need to take that for the full minute. And as I'm counting the beats, I'm also going to use my eyes to see where I can see her chest rise or fall or her stomach. And I don't want to stare at the resident when I'm taking respirations. I want to use my peripheral vision. So when I have counted the pulse for 30 seconds, I'm going to keep my hand there and then count the respirations again by using my peripheral vision. And then I can use the look at the clock at the same time. When she inhales and exhales, that's one respiration. So again, if they're regular, I'll do that for 30 seconds. Okay. Your pulse was 78, so that's normal. All right, anything else I can get for you? Mm -hmm. You comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have your call light there. Your bed is lowered and locked. I'm gonna wash my hands and open the curtain. And then I would document the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius, the respirations in respirations per minute, and the pulse in beats per minute, and report anything abnormal to the nurse.